Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. How we doing this morning, guys? Yeah, good morning. Everything doing well in here? Looks like it. Love it. You, you biting each other? Well, well, you guys you guys will always be brothers, I guess, huh? Well, guys, it is absolutely a gorgeous in here. I'm also noticing that we have some fans that are turned on. See, we've got different fans. We've got some box fans running. We've got some bigger fans. Oh, we've got some bigger fans running. There we go. That one's running. I'm sure a lot of you want an update on how Champ's doing. I don't know if you guys could be able to see him. He's right up there. From what I understand, he's doing really good. William's also doing well. Poncho's ready to come in. Everyone's ready to come in. Guys, it's been already. And I'm not forgetting to take the muck buckets out of the stalls. So before we even get started measuring out, I'm going to do that first. So for anybody that's new to the channel that might be wondering what's going on here, the way this works is we have a muck bucket in each and every single stall so that uh, the owner, when they come down, or we can go through and scoop up that manure and dump it right in the muck bucket. It makes things very simple. And then once a week, I come through, grab all the muck buckets, take them out of the stalls, dump them into a bigger wagon, and transport that down to our compost pile, where once a year, we will go through and scoop all that manure up at the compost pile and spread it on our fields. All right, now that that's all done, and in case anyone's wondering, the reason why we do the muck buckets and that we don't just have a wagon that comes through every single day is because I'm not here every single day to feed horses. Otherwise, that would probably be what we would do. My mom is the one that's here the most, and so because she's the one that's here, I wanted to set up a system that made things easier for her, but that still allowed us to keep the horse stable nice and clean. So basically, we found a system that makes things easy for her and works for for me and it keeps everybody happy. Alrighty guys, it's time to feed some donkeys. Yeah, good morning, good to see you guys. All right, I know you want one thing and one thing only, and that's hugs and love, right guys? Come here, bring it in. All right, fine, food it is then. One for you, and one for you. Guys, there's a bucket over here. Wow. Nice. Over here, Buster, there's one for you. There you go. All right, well, clearly they just wanted food. All right, we have pretty much all of the things that we need to have done, prepared, and ready for the horses coming in, with the exception of one last thing. If you don't get what that means, then you should check out the, my most recent video. Now we're gonna go ahead and let in the middle pasture. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Think we should find a cool spot to put the camera? I think so, too. I think I got one. So we do have a certain order that we have to let the horses in. We noticed that with William, we have to let him in first. Otherwise, he gets really antsy and upset. After William's in, we then let in Poncho, followed by the middle pasture. Hey, did you guys catch that? As they're coming in, I want you to take special attention to Champ walking in. You'll notice that his limp is gone, which makes me super excited because he's, he's not on pain medication or anything. So that means that Champ is healed. He's back to being the good old Champ that we know and love. Aren't you, buddy? Huh? How you feeling? Uh, just to check, once all the horses are in, we're gonna check his leg just to make sure there's no heat or swelling, but I'm pretty sure he's good to go. Alrighty, everybody's in. See that? We got Declan's cable hooked up, so that way when he's banging to get out, he can't. That's gonna be nice. So let's go ahead and check out Champ and see how he's doing. All right, it's okay. Just gonna feel it out, see how we're doing. So what we're doing is we're just gonna run our hand down his leg. The main problem here was down here in the fetlock, and what I'm doing is I'm feeling for swelling, or any heat. Okay, and I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling any swelling, I'm not feeling any heat. The fetlock back here appears to be a little smaller, but I don't know if that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. All right, so Champ's definitely on the mend. Thank you, Poe. He's definitely doing better, so he's good to be turned out. Uh, but I wouldn't say that he's 100% yet, but he's definitely moving in the right direction, so. Definitely happy with how things are moving on with Champ, especially because he's no longer on any medication. This is just him feeling natural, and he's not in any pain anymore. So we're happy to see that. I'm thinking by the next video that comes out, Champ will be back to 100%. So right now, we're in this period of time where it's starting to get a little warmer, but things aren't to the point that we're having a little bit of issues with flies yet. So I call this the, uh, the golden zone, so to speak, just because it's the time period where 
It's really easy to take care of the horses. It's warm enough that we don't have to blanket any of them, but not so warm that it's to the point that we have to worry about fly sprays and SWAT. I call it the golden zone because it's actually a really short time period that we get to enjoy. It usually lasts only a week or two at most. And then it's to, then you gotta rub sunscreens and fly sprays and all other goops and ointments. And don't worry, I'm definitely gonna film it. It's donkey time, guys, so it's time to let out our donkeys. You know what, I hear you guys loud and clear. You want me to open this door and just let them out. They're supposed to go that way. Hey, guys. Guys, guys, it's this way. Let's try the whole treat tactic. Maybe that'll work. Da -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey guys! Come on, Buster. Come on. Yeah, treat tactics not working that well because you know they already ate grain. So uh, option number two is I approach them very calmly and they let me put a lead rope and halter around them. Right, Declan? I just think this is crazy. All right, now I'm gonna let get the donkeys out of there before we go from cute to we have a problem. To your pasture we go. Anybody that's ever owned donkeys understands that there's always a tiny bit of a pool factor whenever you're getting them anywhere. Come on, Rocky, come on. Come on, boys. Now before you go all crazy, I gotta get to the hook. There you go. Run free, boys, run free. So cute. All the good stuff. Anyone know that song, Another One Bites the Dust? I tend to think about that song often as I'm doing this job. Another one bites the dust. Gets you through the day. Guys, I'm back. Well, for you guys, it probably is just the next clip in the video, but for me, it's been a little bit. And we got all the muck buckets emptied out. And as you guys can tell behind me, all the horses are ready to be let out. So let's let them out. All right, I got an idea here that I'm gonna try. I wasn't uh, comfortable doing it with my old camera. But with this camera, I think it'll work out well. And hopefully I'll get some shots of the horses drinking water. At least that's the goal. Well, so long as uh, no horses knock it down. What do you guys think, square? Yeah, square, all right, that'll work. So that's everybody, they're all out. The only thing that's left to do is uh, get this lower exercise arena set up for Tucker, uh, mainly because his owner shows up. You guys saw him on the previous video, Kevin, and he likes to spend some time with him and then he lets him out into the big field once he's done. Then that's it for morning feeding. Then we move on to the next part of the day, which I have no idea what the next part of the day entails. So stay tuned. All right, so it looks like I know what I'm doing, at least for a little part of my day. I am in the tractor with the rotary chopper hooked up behind me, and we're gonna be mowing off, uh, looks like uh, some cover crop that we planted that's gotten a bit high, as well as some other fields. So let's get out, move, undo the locks on the rotary chopper, and then uh, let's get mowing. Now you guys will have to let me know if this is something you like. I just thought that the, the channel's about basically my life taking care of the horse stable, and this is a part of my life here working on this so if this is something that you guys would like to see as well i'm i'm not going to go as detailed on this side of things because well you see a lot of this aspect from the veggie boys by the way the wheats look coming up real nice but i figured i'd show just a little bit about what i'm doing in between so let me know down in the comments below if you guys like this or if you want me to just just stay completely focused on horse content i'll uh, i'll do whatever you guys like and no worries it's not like this is going to be my focus but this is a, this is a big part of the job i'm just recording what my life's like here at the horse stable
looks like that one's just a bit far. What happens sometimes is the hydraulic what does not have enough oomph to push it over. So I just have to let it fold out so that there's not too much slack on the line. You can do that by just turning it. Just like that. There we go. All right, let's straighten her out and fire it up. And put up the RPM. Okay, and just like that, we got a whole field finished up and it's lunchtime, so we're gonna head back. All we gotta do now is we just gotta fold up the rotary chopper and off we go. Hey guys, so some considerable time has passed since I've last saw you while we were rotary chopping. And just in case you were wondering why it is that we were doing that, that was a cover crop, never intended to harvest that. And that's basically a, a crop that you plant in the ground so that the soil stays in place during the winter. And uh, now we're chopping it up and plowing it under so that we can use the ground for vegetables this upcoming year. So we're about to let William in. I've got some pretty awesome ideas for letting the horses in this afternoon. Some good camera shots, I'm thinking. What do you think, Swade? You think it's gonna be good? He thinks it's gonna be good. I'm pretty excited. You well, know, the donkeys are definitely ready to be let in. All right, let's go grab William. Just to stroll through the pasture. Hey, good afternoon. What's up? You guys gotta be careful with this one. He's very rambunctious. No, he's, he's, he's really good. We're actually really pleased with him and how he's doing. Come on, William. So he's doing good, he's doing good. And we got the donkeys waiting to be let in. Oh, so impatiently. So William, quick question for you, buddy. Hey, what do you think about the donkeys? Okay, okay. So, so you, you, you know, they're, they're, they're decent neighbors. Okay, all right. It's always the quiet ones you gotta watch for. I know, he's going to go work. That's weather. Come on, William. Go. Even though he's pretty chill, I do have to be cautious. He can flip like a light switch, so. There we go. Next up is the donkeys. I've got their feed right here. They're excited to come in, too. Yeah, come on. This time, this will work because they haven't had their feed yet. Come on. Come on. Come on, Buster. Buster's the one I can always get in. He's the hungry one. Oh, he's running. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Come to the border. There you go, boys. All right, we're gonna let them get their feed and simmer down a little bit, and then we'll run back in there and get that halter off of Rocky. I know you guys love seeing the horses come in, so I'm trying to give you some cool shots of the horses coming in. All right, let's let them in. I got Suede, Skywalker, Spitfire, Ovi. We're gonna get up close and personal here. Oh yeah, look at the feet. So exciting. It is actually really cool. Check it. Check how their legs work from the fronts to their backs. You'll notice that it's always opposite of each other as they go. Pretty cool. I'll have to, I'm gonna try to start pointing out little stuff that you just never notice about them. Uh, so you guys can kind of learn that so that when you do see horses or if you're like seeing them on the screen is good enough for me, Joel, I completely understand. Either way, I want to show you the guys the cool stuff. So we've only got two horses that are ready to come in. Everyone else is grazing. Declan and Danny. And that's not surprising at all. We're going to let Declan and Danny in. Go ahead, boys. Now, normally, this is for the point that I would start yelling for all the horses, and then a bunch of them would start running and coming up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera, mount it on the pole down here, and then I'm going to start yelling. And I'm hopeful we're going to get some awesome shots of the horses running in the pasture. I know. Pretty crazy stuff. So let's hope it works out.
grass was just too good today. I had to get the quad. Hey, 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 guys, guys, you want to come for a ride? Yeah, come on, let's go. Just like that, we got them all in. So I'm just gonna open everything up and uh, I'm gonna take Hay out. I'll see you guys in a flash. So guys, we're gonna be talking with uh, one of our clients that's actually here at the stable. She leases Rebel. We're gonna talk a little bit about that later on, but for now, I'd like to introduce you guys to Brim. Hi, I've been here since 2016. I started off on Maverick. I've had him for three years. Okay, so you're leasing Rebel. What is it, what's the difference between leasing a horse and owning a horse? Leasing, you don't have to pay for all the vet bills. <laughs> you basically get to ride him and have all the benefits of yep. basically taking care of a horse yeah. without any of the drawbacks or yeah. the expenses that go yeah. with owning a horse. How long have you been leasing Rebel? Three years. Okay, and what made you decide to lease Rebel? I don't know, I just really liked him. Nobody really likes him, but I don't know. I started riding him like a year after I was here and I don't know, just something something about him. He likes me. Very special connection. Well, Brent, thank you so much for talking with me. I really appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> Not to mention, we also have Faith with Declan and Caitlin with Archer who came down to spend some time with their horses. Hello. Hello. It's an absolutely beautiful day. So a lot of people have come down to uh, be with their horses, which is really awesome. So nice to see the barn so full. That's actually going to be it for feeding. That's everything that's all set up. We only got a few things left to do, and that's basically just filling up some water troughs. I've got ponchos filling up right over here. In fact, it's about to overflow. So I'm going to go turn the water off, switch the lines over, and then fill the big water trough in the big field. So after turning off the hydrant, all we're going to do is we're going to take this garden hose. That's right, garden hose. I don't know if you guys thought this was going to be some very convoluted contraption, but it's not. <laughs> Stick the garden hose in this one, and this changes the direction of the water. Once the hose is switched over, let me just power on the hydrant. And the water goes up through past our wall of history. By the way, if you guys want to check out more about this wall of history, I've did a video. I'll link it up top and in the description below. You can check that out. And then it flows right along this pipe all the way down here. And then plops out right here. Alrighty guys, and it's gonna be on that note that that's gonna be where we're drawing an end to the video for today. I just wanted to say thank you so much to each and every single one of you for watching all the way through. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure that you're subscribed. And, and as, as always, always, we'll see you in the next one. Go, that, that, oh, that got that on the first try, guarantee it. Right? No. <laughs> see you guys.